The band started about seven years ago. We started songwriting together and quickly realized that we had something pretty cool and pretty special. The last record we did um, was all about the Civil War and lost landscapes of a Civil War. We've got a few different concept records and very excited about this one we're doing right now. The name of the record is Radio Hymns, and um, we're so often looking outside of where we live for ideas, and we realized, or Vanessa realized, that Nashville is both growing and disappearing around us at the same time. And it was her idea to look deeper into the history of Nashville and what we might be losing by losing a lot of the buildings and uh, the things around us. So my first introduction to Elizabeth and Vanessa was actually through a song that they had written that had been recorded by a, a hit country artist named Billy Currington. Once I explored what the girls did a little bit more, I found myself personally very much drawn to what they were doing. They take the time, they care enough to study to, to get it right so that what they're saying is, is worth saying. It's so important to them as individuals that, that there's really the heart and the emotion to back it up that makes people feel something. I thought the Ryman would be a really interesting topic to write about just because most of the buildings that we are going to talk about on this album are places that have already been destroyed. The Ryman is a wonderful example of something that was rehabilitated and turned into a place that's just magical. You walk in and you feel it. So I really wanted to write a song about that. Being there and feeling the music is so important to me and I wanted to share that with other people. Just driving around one day, I noticed this amazing, beautiful, imposing Gothic building by the river. And uh, it is the old state prison. The story that we found that was most fascinating to us was um, the story of a man named Gus Hyatt. And Gus was a train robber and a murderer. And he spent many years at the state penitentiary. After a few years there, he devised a plan to get dynamite shipped into the prison. He blew up the whole side of the prison and escaped. And I managed to escape for six or eight years before he was found in Missouri. But we wrote a song from the perspective of um, someone else in the prison kind of listening to his decision to try to escape and what redemption might lie on the other side or what lack of salvation might lie on the other side. You found a way to just pretend. And it really is like digging, digging a grave with a spoon. It's just so, it's such a slow and arduous process. We keep finding these very strong themes of sadness and of deception, and, and redemption is a very, very common yes. theme that's showing up. I think that this album is gonna, be, is gonna be a really important milestone, not just for Granville Automatic as a band, but for the city. I think that it's something that could really reach a lot of people here. If I were a creator, I'd love to be a part of that, and I think it's gonna be exciting to see the writers and artists who, who really get behind this project. You said you loved